Um, actually, personally, I wouldn't say I'm so much surprised because knowing who President Jammeh is, uh, he is one person who does not respect the rule of law. He does not respect the constitution of the Gambia or Gambian lives either. For his 22 years of rule, he has been tampering with the rights of Gambians and even non-Gambians who reside in the Gambia. So we all suspected that that might happen. But also, we were a little relaxed knowing that he accepted the defeat on national TV and also internationally, everybody was talking about it. So a little, it was um, a surprise that he had to reject the election results after a week of conceding to the feed. Uh, um, within the week, we were... We were thinking, yes, maybe he's up to something, because knowing him, like I said, he's up to no good any time he has such kind of face or he says some things like he said on national TV the last time. One of our viewers, uh, Fatima, in Kenya, has just sent a question on WhatsApp and said, Jama should let the will of Gambians prevail. Such comments may trigger internal strife. Is that a concern for you, that there will be unrest and violence as a result of this? <laughs> Every Gambian right now is concerned because we know that the Gambia, uh, the Gambian people have not had independence, let's say, have not enjoyed freedom in 22 years. So in a week, everybody else had enjoyed uh, the, 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 the breeze, the sense of freedom in the Gambia. So that sense of freedom, the Gambians are not ready to let go. Mm. And right now... The, 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 the situation in Gambia, even though people are calm, is really tense because those of us who are outside, who are activists, who are advocates for peace and, and, and justice in Gambia are worried that the people wouldn't agree. And also, it is said clearly that we are not going to another election anymore because the people have spoken and we have made our voices heard even before the election that because young people had had been out in the streets showing the opposition their support, the coalition their support, that we are tired of the 22 years rule of Yahya Jame because he had not given us anything and our rights were seized and everything. So, so Gambians are not ready to compromise this. Okay, so do you think there should be an intervention? Because clearly the president is defiant, can't see him changing his mind again of his own volition. So do you think the African Union uh, or another group, uh, a mediator needs to intervene? We really need their intervention. <clears throat> we have seen letters that they have sent. We have seen the U.S. Embassy in Banjul send le letters. We have seen the U.N. And the, and the A.U. sent letters. Right now, that is what they have to do initially. But also, they should put into consideration that Yahya Jame, having planned everything he wanted to do in a week and then promoting some soldiers a day after he, he said he has, he has not accepted the results, means he has done something already. And he's not ready for peace because everybody was content with the fact that he had accepted defeat. And we congratulated him and we appreciated that. He accepted and respected what the people had said during the, the, the December 1st elections. But now that he is ready to violate our rights like he's been always doing, he's up to no good and he is ready for civil war in Gambia. We believe it or not, he does not care how many lives would be lost in Gambia. He never cared about the citizens of the Gambia. And there's one thing that the outside world, the international communities have to understand, that he does not care and they should come in the aid of Gambian people because we have acted. We have made everybody know that we don't want him anymore and we want freedom and change in Gambia.